everybody, it's time for another J9's Patio Chat Check-In. It is number 407. It was Monday. I've got my uh, hair, no hair, or whatever, beach hair, don't care. It's not really beach hair, but I didn't straighten my hair today. I just washed it and let it dry, so that's what you're getting. Um, so, birthdays. I only have one birthday today that I know of, I know. Happy birthday to those I didn't catch, but it's Tracy Turner's birthday today, and we work together at FNIV. So Tracy, I hope you're having a wonderful birthday. I do also know that it's Pope Francis's birthday as well today. So uh, in the world of COVID, I did not see the Nova Scotia update today. Uh, I do know that unfortunately we lost a 13-year-old girl in Brampton, Ontario um, over the weekend related to COVID. Um, and so condolences to anyone that may have been connected to that family. Um, my mom and dad, on a positive note, got COVID tests today. Hopefully they will be negative, not positive. They're, of course, waiting for the results. I know that people are coming out in record numbers in Cape Breton to get tested. And, of course, here in Halifax as well, in surrounding areas, people continue to get tested. I know that uh, some people weren't able to get in to get tested in Cape Breton. So hopefully people will all be able to get in and get tested. So we are certainly seeing the numbers of people getting tested increase. Also the, the number of individuals that are being reported as positive increase as well. Um, but hopefully, you know, as time goes on, that will go down. This is also National Immunization Awareness Week. And so the theme this year is vaccines bring us closer with a, the hashtag get vax. And they're uh, encouraging people to share stories about how vaccines, along with individual public health practices, bring people closer together um, with the people they care about the most, not physically closer together. <laughs> but eventually, that's of course the goal, that if we all get vaccinated, that we will be able to spend more time with our loved ones um, closer together. And so they are encouraging also, and this actually, when I say they, um, this, I read, um, a notification went out to us as Health Canada and Public Health Agency of Canada staff from Dr. Teresa Tam today. And we were encouraged to use um, the hashtags MyY and uh, NIAW2021, which is National Immunization Awareness Week, and to let people know that we're getting vaccinated and you know encouraging others to get vaccinated as well. And to date, there have been 12 million vaccine, vaccines administered. So that notice came out today. Um, yes, so that is that about National Vaccine Week. Um, in two other things I wanted to share, I wanted to share something really positive. My friend, Billy McClellan, who is in Nobody, um, I've talked about him before. I've talked about him on a few different occasions. Um, Billy always has a wonderful attitude and tries to sp spread hope is actually the hashtag he used today. He's always trying to, to um, kind of put a positive spin on things. And today he did something really great on Facebook, which I really enjoyed, which was he posted um, asking folks uh, to choose a song that they would, um, that they think everybody should have on their playlist, from their playlist. So um, each person named a song. And Billy created a Spotify playlist called Billy's Friends Said. Billy's Friends Said. Sorry, I feel like I said that. I guess I probably said it the same way the first time. It sounded like it went, it melded into, the words all melded into one another. Um, anyway, Billy is, uh, it's just great. God love you. I love when you do stuff like that. Uh, I'm going to put in the Spotify link. So I haven't finished completely listening to it, but it's interesting. It's just... And you know what? There might be songs on it that I don't like, but I don't care. I just think the sentiment is wonderful. Just to try to get people's minds off of things. It's a, a tense time for everyone. So I love that. Something else I was thinking about today is, you know, it's, it's really difficult. We're all experiencing COVID and I've said it many times, although we all are in a pandemic, we're experiencing it differently depending on where we live, depending on, you know, whether we have homes or not, whether we have food, um, the parts of the country that we live in, uh, all those things. So I was thinking about that and how the pandemic affects people differently. And then I was just thinking of, you know, the tenacity of people and those that have been on the front line from the beginning and 
again, to thank them so much for their commitment. And it reminded me, although not related to the pandemic, but related to just sheer will and um, perseverance. I was thinking about Terry Fox and I, I get Terry Fox's um, updates from the Terry Fox Foundation. They often post things that he journaled. So in this day, in uh, 41 years ago, April 26, 1980, um, he was in Bevere Junction, Newfoundland. And um, they, I wanted to read you an excerpt from his journal that day because um, he talks about his fear. Today we got up at 4 a.m. We wanted to cover 14 miles right away because there was going to be a reception at Southbrook Junction. I was feeling pretty good and the first two and three quarter miles went quite nicely. Then all of a sudden I was seeing eight pictures of everything. I was dizzy and lightheaded, but I made it to the van. It was a frightening experience. Was it all over? Was everything finished? Would, it let every, would I let everybody down? I told myself it is too late to give up. I would keep going no matter what happened. If I died, I would die happy because I was, going to, I was doing what I wanted to do. I just often think of Terry Fox. I just think he's an amazing person. I know I've spoken about him before. Um, and again, I, the connection I'm making to the pandemic is not, of course, Terry Fox didn't live through a pandemic, but he lived through his own personal journey. Um, and he did so much for others in a time in his life when he was in so much pain. And so I'm just trying to remember when I'm feeling, you know, sad or irritated or, you know, frustrated during the pandemic. I think about what others are going through and their journeys. So I always think it's um, never a bad time to share a, a Terry Fox story. So I think I'll leave it there, everybody. That is Monday in the books. So take good care of yourselves. Take good care of others. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.